Hey everyone, the earthquakes continue in Campi Flegre at the moment, more in the micro seismic range, but they do continue. And remember when I showed you that the volcano is melting the road? Because they built a road basically right through the volcano. You see it here in that picture, you see the sandy looking area, that's the Solfatara crater, which is the most likely area for a potential eruption probably first a phreatic eruption. And the road goes right there where all these fumaroles are, the hot steam vents. You would think, just don't build that so close, right? But would you build an underground train at a super volcano? I mean, right at the super volcano where these hot gas and steam vents are. Would you build a subway underneath Yellowstone? Would you even build a road through Yellowstone, like a public road with businesses and apartment homes? Right? This is what this is. And we just had that magnitude four earthquake. And guess what happens? Damage to that underground tunnel system of that railway station. So we'll talk about that, what that means and what the plan is now. But also the Vesuvius Observatory, that's part of the INGV, they're observing this Campi Flegrei supervolcano day and night. They have appointed a new director. Basically the first sentence this director said to the public, the Brady season will continue. We expect more earthquakes. No word of phreatic eruption or more that her colleagues are warning about. And the question is, is, is why? She seems to be an expert of supervolcanic eruptions. We will have to wait and see. I'll tell you more about what she said and what's the deal with this. But let's get to the tunnel. This is really crazy, guys. I mean, July 18th, magnitude 4 earthquake has damaged both two tunnels. The Kumana Tunnel that is currently under, op under operation under Mount Obliano and the new one, guys, the new one. They're building a new one. Can you believe this? After everything they know, you know, first you can say, yeah, at that time they didn't really understand the Brady Seism and that volcano that much when they built the first one. No, they're building a new one. So also the new one that is still under construction has been damaged. And now they have consulted a tunneling expert. Well, you should consult volcano experts, right? And you have so many of them there. I, I don't even understand how they could even start building a tunnel like this. So the Kumana line is blocked between Bagnoli and Alco Felice following this magnitude 4 earthquake on July 18th that had its epicenter in the Dazio area. The Monte Obliano tunnel has suffered double damage. Sorry, guys. This is, I mean, this is, I don't know what to say to this. It has suffered significant damage to the operating tunnel, but also to the new tunnel that is under construction that is about 300 meters away, a thousand feet, which has not yet been put into operation. So this too has significant damage. So you wonder, okay, the old one probably hasn't built to any seismic codes, volcanic codes, we have to say, but the new one? So currently, in the one that has been operating, there is significant cracking. So in addition to some cracks that seem to have come from previous earthquakes, so some cracks that were already being monitored have widened following the last earthquake. And this is what the danger is of the earthquakes. Let's not speak about the volcanic eruption yet. The earthquakes constant rattling for years, the magnitudes are getting higher and higher, shallow earthquakes, they're constantly rattling these old homes, this old infrastructure, 
and makes it weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. Each quake makes it weaker until they might to crumble. So now they say the tunnel must be monitored to prevent a new earthquake from creating problems when trains pass through. How does that monitoring look like? I'd really be interested in that because you don't know when the next earthquake will hit. So let's say it hits when a train is in the tunnel and then, yeah, they monitor that the tunnel is collapsing. You know what I'm hinting at, but we'll talk about it. It seems they might close it down. And it's not only underground that this magnitude 4 earthquake has done damage in this, this region. So beneath Monte Obliano, yes, the, the two tunnels, but it has also caused a landslide on the Via Napoli side of the same mountain. So now they're bringing in an expert from Turin. He's an expert in tunnels to analyze the situation. So, okay, he can probably give them an assessment how stable the tunnel is. But since we're having continuous earthquakes, they should consult with other experts. Of course, then the public has asked the question, how can it be that a tunnel and a newly built tunnel can be damaged by an earthquake? How is that possible? So then the official entity EAV, they're responsible for this, they say, is by its very nature, the tunnel is by its very nature, a rigid structure. It cannot expand and disperse the energy that it receives. Great. Specifically, the old one that's currently in operation is 85 meters above the ground level, considering that the earthquake's epicenter was very close near Dazio, both the external and internal areas of Monte Obliano were subjected to stress, resulting in significant damage. That's not really an answer, right? The answer would be because the structures haven't been seismically upgraded or haven't built to any coats that would withstand a supervolcano and it's growling. I mean, are there coats that could prevent that, right? So the existing cracks, and that's interesting, they turned up immediately after the Dazio widening. So when the tunnel underwent major extraordinary maintenance in the 1980s, and we had um, a huge seismic swarm and Brady seismic activity in the 1980s. So at that time it was widened to accommodate um, a stop, a station. And they wanna have an initial meeting with the designers. So because of that damage after the earthquake, the Obliano tunnel was closed. The, how this one train line, the Kumana line between Bagnoli and Arco Felice is suspended, of course, right? And the, the most damage is on the Dazio side. And this new Bagnoli Arco Felice line that they had put in place, begun operating just four months ago, is also currently closed. Now they have shuttle buses that have been set up. So it seems that this earthquake, the magnitude four, has been more severe than they previously thought because it was reported no damages, but um, actually it might have caused the most serious damage ever caused by a single earthquake in this region, because this is significant. This cuts off the closure of these train lines, cuts off areas from each other. And they don't even know if they can repair it and what the cost would be and who would finance this. And Monte Obliano, the location of that crater is the southern edge of the Salt Fatara. And it's suspected of being at least partially a lava dome. And you build an underground train line, train line right? Yeah, makes sense. So commuters that are traveling to work by train every day are particularly hard hit by this closure. Now, what do they do? Well, they go by car. 
now the roads that are already congested and clogged have an, uh, an additional high burden and the clogging is worse than usual. Lots of traffic jams, which is already bad in an area that could have a devastating earthquake followed by an eruption when it comes to evacuation roads. So we have numerous cracks, guys, in this tunnel. New ones and the old ones. So the problem is the new tunnel that was supposed to replace the old tunnel is also now severely damaged. So probably they can't use it anymore. So they will remain closed until further notice. And these experts from Turin, they have already stated that one of the main problems was the rigid construction of the tunnels that cannot vibrate. <sighs> What's the new one? Do you understand that? So many people, not only me, and you probably too, started wondering why the second tunnel was also designed this way at a time when earthquakes and ground uplift were known. I mean, the tunnels are not only located on the edge of this volcanically active Solfatara area where we have a different kind of groundwater, acidic groundwater that could, for example, erode the structure, like reinforce concrete structures quite fast and cause instability of this tunnel. But it's basically almost right in the area that has the greatest trouble where all the epicenter of the earthquakes are happening, the, the most ground uplift, highest gas emission, highest temperature of gas emissions, fumarolis, everything, potential eruption site. And they really, really started this investigation late. Because first they said, oh, no problem, this earthquake, no, no damage, nothing. But there was this landslide on the Via Napoli, coastal road at the foot of Monte Obliano. So the investigation should have started way earlier because they knew that something had rumbled that cra crater edge. And that these are not the only tunnels. There's so many other tunnels in this area that go right underneath the craters, the volcanoes. And it seems they're not earthquake proof and certainly not eruption proof. And we're talking about road tunnels as well. And especially from the main evacuation route, the Via Tangenziale, they are probably not earthquake proof. They have raised funds to upgrade this, but this will take years and years and years. So should there be a mass panic, should there be a mass evacuation, and should there be a larger earthquake, only magnitude five is enough, according to experts, to bring so many structures to collapse. If then the evacuation routes are clogged, it's unbelievable what's going to be happening, right? So, Lucia Papalardo, new director of the Vesuvius Observatory, she says, Brady Sizem continues, we expect more earthquake. We expect seismic activity similar to that recorded in recent years. So she's not saying we expect something bigger, but many of her scientists and colleagues say that. So she says, I think this is the usual bureaucratic statement. She says, degassing and ground uplift continue at Campi Fligri at an average rate of approximately 1.5 centimeters, like an inch per month, based on the current trend of geophysical and geochemical parameters. Um, seismic activity similar to that recorded in recent years is expected. Just the little problem that the seismic activity over the last few years is increasing in numbers and in magnitude. She's not saying anything about that. And then, of course, she says the sentence. Monitoring activities are continuing and continuously and carefully. And her colleagues are saying monitoring doesn't guarantee your safety. And I agree. So Mauro De Vito is outgoing. They say he's retiring. So Lucia Papalado is supposed to be an expert volcanologist at the INGV. 
with over 30 years of scientific research dedicated to the study of magmatic processes um, and the risk associated with active volcanoes. She coordinates national and international projects and has extensive experience leading multidisciplinary teams. She's actively involved in volcano monitoring, scientific communication and training new generation of researchers. They say she's an international expert on super eruptions. She has conducted research in volcanology and petrology on various topics such as magma evolution and eruption triggers. So I hope that we can expect a little bit more information from her in the future. So she's supposed to be an expert on processes and timing of magma ascent in volcanic conduits and their relationship with precursor phenomena, characterization of the geothermal system, and through studying the interaction of rocks with volcanic fluids and gases, the impact of tephra fallout and pyroclastic flows on the environment and on humans and the definition of extreme eruptive scenarios, the dynamics of large ignimbrite eruptions that Campi Fligri has produced, quantitative analysis of micro CT images of geomaterials. So the mayor of Pozzoli says she is highly competent and I hope she'll show that by telling as it is, by really telling the risk as it is, as her colleagues are doing but outside their position of the INGV, they're really giving dire warnings. I have made videos about all of that, guys. You should really watch them because that gives you a picture of what's really going on at Campi Flegri. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, buy me a coffee. Look at the monster one. I have to show it again because I love it. It's like a Bavarian beer mug. Link is in the description. Go to my buymeacoffee.com slash silky website. Um, buy me a coffee there. Click the join button to become a supporting monthly member. Thank you for your supers. Thank you for watching. Hello to all new subscribers and members. You guys are awesome. Stay safe. Click here. Then we don't need to separate. We see each other in a second. Bye-bye.